Okay guys, I want to show you something real quick this morning. I want to show you how to test for non-condensables on a heat pump anyway. So what I've done is I've got both valves shut down and I've got the system pumped down. So I pumped the system down, I shut both valves, and now I'm going to shift the reverse of the valve. Okay, so the reverse of the valve is shifted. You can plug that back in because it's not going to shift again. I've got my uh, got my low side probe hooked up here, so this is going to read the uh, saturated temperature just like if you're measuring a bottle of refrigerant. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go inside and flip the breaker because God knows I'm not going to flip that one unless I want to change that one. I'm going to go inside, flip the breaker, and I'm going to disconnect the compressor from the contactor, and then I'm going to just run the fan, and we're going to compare the uh, reading from my smart probe to the saturated temperature of the refrigerant and if the saturated temperature is higher than the probe is reading uh, then you know you got non-cons in there so all right all right guys well I've had a run up about 10 minutes and that's what you want to do I've got the uh, common wire pulled off the contactor and our temperatures are matching exactly and I can't show you the reading on that because I'm using my phone to record, but I took a screenshot and it says 78.3 uh, and 2. .4, so that matches exactly. And so he passes the test. There's not a noticeable amount of non-condensables. Um, now this test, let me explain something, can be skewed a couple ways. If you're severely low on refrigerant and this coil does not have uh, enough refrigerant you can't actually have enough space inside the condenser that you're not really skewing the saturated temperature enough so you do want to make sure that you've got enough refrigerant to do this test especially with a large coil like this old old uh, train unit has um, of course this test is a lot harder on a straight cool unit because you simply don't have these ports to test it with but on heat pump unit, it's pretty quick and easy to test uh, for these non-condensables. So, um, hope this helps someone out there. And I think this happens uh, more than we think. People blowing and going the systems it just does not get the air out. It just all mixes in there. So, all right, guys. Well, we'll see you on the next one.